From a 10-year-old who went for a joyride to a car heist worthy of Nicolas Cage, here are 10 kids that stole cars and got chased. Number 10. From Joyride to Jailhouse. This 10-year-old boy from Cleveland, though, seemed to have developed a liking for something fast and furious and highly dangerous and very much against the law. The boy was supposed to be waiting for his older sister to drive him to school, but he had other ideas. He took the keys and made off with the car. When she realized what was happening, his mom got into her own car and followed, calling 911 in the process. This led to a high-speed car chase, reaching speeds of up to 100 miles per hour. The boy even avoided road spikes laid down by cops by driving on the grass on the other side of the road. This entire chase lasted over an hour, and ended when an officer forced the boy into another police cruiser. This actually isn't the first time the boy ran away with a car, though. The first time was when he made off with his mom's car, and that ended only when he got three flat tires. Number 9. Picking up the crew. This 12-year-old boy from Las Cruces, New Mexico, stole an SUV and gave the local police a rather lengthy chase. But amazingly, he was able to squeeze in some time to pick up three of his mates, take them on with them on a high-speed car chase before dropping them off and continuing with said chase. The unnamed kid was reported to the police by witnesses who saw the SUV recklessly driving other people off the road. After another high-speed pursuit, the driver then dropped his three passengers off before hightailing it again. Chase only stopped when the stolen SUV hit another vehicle head-on, thus stopping the vehicle in its tracks. The runaway young driver was fortunately unhurt and was taken into custody. However, the driver of the other car involved in the collision was injured, but otherwise did survive. Number 8. Future Bonnie and Clyde. We may have another one of these in the making. Check this story out and you tell me. A 12-year-old boy and a 13-year-old girl stole a car from Panama City gas station and led police officers on a high-speed car chase. The chase started in Panama City's residential streets before spilling over into the US 98 highway. The chase itself lasted for a few minutes and even involved the stolen vehicle smashing into several cars. Fortunately, only minor injuries were reported and the two joy riders were taken into custody by the police. No one really knows the reason why the two decided to steal the car, but let's just hope that this isn't the first small steps into lifelong crime. Number 7. Surprise Cops Police in Sydney, Ohio saw a car traveling the wrong way on a street, so they signaled the driver to stop, and when he didn't, the police started the pursuit. The driver of the car, however, was trying to get away by all means necessary, so he drove at breakneck speed, slamming into other cars along the way. If all that wasn't enough, he also slammed the car into two houses, causing significant damage, so much so that the second house was deemed uninhabitable when it was inspected at a later date. Anyway, slamming into the second house stopped the high-speed chase, and the reckless driver was apprehended. To the surprise of law enforcement, the driver was a 10-year-old boy. According to investigators, the kid was staying at a family friend's house. He waited for everyone in the house to fall asleep, and then he stole the keys and went for a drive. It's important to note that Sydney police don't have a policy of pursuing vehicles driven by underage persons. They only found out that the driver was a minor when the chase ended. This does beg the question, though. What do they actually do when they see an underage kid driving in a stolen car? Eh, maybe somebody local can comment and enlighten us. Number 6. Brought a baby for the ride. This next kid on our list didn't only face a Grand Theft Auto charge, he may be facing kidnapping charges as well. That's because when this 17-year-old stole a car, he didn't notice that there was a month-old infant in the back seat. The kid even went on a high-speed police chase with the baby tagging along for the ride. When the stolen car was reported, quite a few police officers responded and gave chase. The chase ended when the kid failed to navigate a turn and crashed. Fortunately, though, the baby was not injured and the carjacking team was arrested. Number 5. Chase from Down Under An 11-year-old boy from Adelaide, Australia is probably going to get more than just being grounded when he stole a car and led the police in a merry old chase. According to police, they tried to pull over a white Toyota Prius just before 4 a.m. when they found out that the vehicle was reported stolen. When the driver didn't stop, the pursuit started, and it went on for a few breathtaking minutes before the driver crashed into a tree, thus ending the car chase. But not the foot chase, as the driver fled the scene on the crash and took the involvement of police dogs to find him. Locals who heard about the news were shocked when they found out the age of the driver, and asked the same question you guys have probably been asking since the start of this video. Where the heck were the parents? Number 4. School Bus Chase I actually remember seeing this on the local news. In October of 2020, Louisiana police officers arrested an 11-year-old boy after he stole a school bus and then drove away as they tried to stop him. 
According to Baton Rouge police spokesperson LeGene McNeely Jr., the boy drove away from the police for 45 minutes before crashing into a tree. The police received a call reporting the incident at around 10.45 that day. They dispatched multiple units to try and stop the speeding school bus. Police also reported that the kid allegedly taunted and gave the finger to the pursuing officers while driving haphazardly, resulting in the school bus hitting other vehicles on the road. It did all come to an end when the bus crashed into a tree, but not before hitting at least three other vehicles. The kid was fine, but left one of the drivers of the struck vehicles with minor injuries. Police said they were unclear as to how the kid got the keys to the school bus in the first place, and the kid ain't telling. Number three. All that for some Cheerios. Police said they spotted the boy driving the van at around 9.30 p.m. and knew in an instant that the driver was just 10 to 11 years old. The boy fled when the officer activated his emergency lights, leading police on a chase that reached speeds of 50 miles per hour. At one point, he drove through an intersection in a residential yard in reverse, narrowly missing a tree. Police eventually did block his path, ending the chase. Fortunately, nobody was hurt. When asked, the boy told officers that he was going to Target to buy Cheerios for breakfast because they ran out. His parents were sleeping at the time. Now it's time for the day's best pick. This best pick was picked from a subscriber just like you, so if you find something strange online and want to know more about it, just send it on over to us and we'll look into it for you. Who knows? Might even feature it in a future video. With that said, number two. Kid in an exotic car. Today's video, we've seen kids stealing cars, vans, a Prius, and even a school bus. But this next get up the ante by driving away with a very expensive looking exotic car. But did he steal it and gave the police a high speed chase? Well, no, actually. This photo was taken in November 2016 in an exotic car show dash coffee show in Atlanta called Caffeine and Exotics. I gotta say, the naming department? Beautiful. Anyways, it's not only the cars and the brew that gain attention at this event, sometimes the drivers do as well. Like this kid who was casually reversing a matte blue Lamborghini Huracan through a parking lot full of people. He looks like he's in full control and knows what he's doing, despite looking a few years away from getting his driver's license. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. Gone in 60 seconds. Kid version. It's like Kids Bop, but highly more dangerous and without the terrible child singing. People of a certain age will be familiar with the movie Gone in 60 Seconds, which starred Nicolas Cage before he went totally nuts. Scratch that. He was always nuts. Anyways, that movie involves a group of car thieves stealing dozens of expensive cars in just one night. Well, here's a true story that's very similar to that. The only difference is the heist happened over a month, and the perpetrators were all kids, some as young as nine years old. The crime spree took place in and around Winston-Salem, affecting 18 dealerships. The first thefts were reported on March 17, 2020, but unlike the Nicolas Cage remake of the classic Gone film, this wasn't a single night boost. At the same time, it seemed like new car dealerships were being targeted specifically. Lexus, Audi, and Infiniti dealers were among those hit, with 46 cars being stolen and the estimated cost of the vehicle set at $1.1 million. Multiple reports from news outlets in the area list 19 children ranging from ages 9 to 16 as being part of the stolen car ring. However, seven children were located and of those, four were taken into custody. Three children had charges that didn't call for an arrest and apparently police were already familiar with some of the pint-sized criminals involved in the spree. As for the other 12 children allegedly involved, an investigation is ongoing. Did you steal anything when you were a kid? If so, shame on you for being caught. Let us know down below in the comments. Also, make sure to check out the channel's other amazing vids. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.